Vacation time is over, so I'm back with a new project. I wanted to do for some time the lights on my stairway uh, with digital LEDs, but I also wanted some control over the lights and the effects. After a little research, I decided to make my own controller. So here is the Smart Stairway Controller version 1 with Arduino and digital LEDs. You can use WS2812B LEDs, uh, like I've used in this example, uh, but you can also use WS2811, because in WS2811 one chip is controlling three LEDs, so for one meter with 30 LEDs you will actually need to control 10 LEDs. In the code you have to define the total number of stairs that you have and the total number of LEDs that must be an even number and dividable by the total number of stairs, because from this division uh, will result the total number of LEDs per stair. With Arduino Uno or Omega 328P uh, chipset, you can go all the way to 400 LEDs with WS2812B and uh, with Arduino Mega or 80 Mega uh, 2560 chipset, you can go all the way to 1900 LEDs with WS2812. After 20 or 25 meters of LED strip, the signal for the LEDs will need to be amplified and that can be achieved with a simple logic level shifter for 5 volts. I didn't try that yet, but I think that will work like a charm. Remember that one LED is consuming about 60 milliamps at full brightness on white color. So for my example, I have 100 LEDs um, times 60 milliamps and I already have 6 amps at 5 volts and that means 30 watts of power. So your power consumption will be high and the best practice will be to power the strip of LEDs from both ends or to inject power on every 3 or 4 meters depending on your total number of LEDs because in this way you will have a good color reproduction on the entire LED strips and reduce power losses from the internal resistance of the LED strip. So, let's see what we have. Here we have the time potentiometer from 5 seconds to 5 minutes, but you can change that in the code. Uh, here we have the potentiometer for uh, setting the light threshold, and this is the light sensor. Uh, here we have the LED, one LED, to indicate the mode that the controller is in. Here we have the button to change the mode, uh, we have three modes, um, auto, uh, that is blue, always on, that is green, and always off, that is red. Here we have the button for changing the effect, here we have the button for changing uh, the color, here we have the button for changing the brightness, and here we have a button to save a preset after you change everything to your desired need. We have two motion pairs. One for the start of the stairs, one for the end of the stairs. Here we have the first pair. Now it's set to 5 seconds, but we also must take in count that the pair triggers for a few seconds, in my case 8 seconds. And here we have the second pair. That triggers. So, um... Let's go a little to always on, and we have the color. At first um, the saturation goes all the way up, after that we scroll through the color palette, and then go back. And the brightness. It's all the way up, then all the way down. And just let it where you need it. I already have a preset save, so after I reset, the mode goes to auto, the effect goes to one, the brightness goes to half, and the color goes to white.
Now let's see the effects. The first one uh, is just fading in, fading out. The second effect for the first pair. Let's wait a little bit. And if you go from the top, the effect starts where the motion is. Effect number three. The same thing. Actually, uh, the peer triggers the side, uh, the start or the end. For every effect. Effect number four. It's from the other way around. Effect number five. Effect, num effect number six. It's roughly the same, but with a fade in and out. Next effect will be similar, but indicating the direction. The same way. Sorry, the other way. Next effect. And the other way around. Next effect is similar. And next effect, um, it's actually a rainbow of colors. You can change the speed in the code. Next effect will be a glitter. Uh, a glitter with uh, the color that you set, actually, because you can change the color on the fly. Let's leave it to blue. And the last effect, it's actually for Christmas. It's a glitter with red, green and blue. And you can and you can use it in Christmas time or holidays. And now we'll be back to effect number 1. But 
in always on state we have uh, almost the same effects but they will stay on forever until you change the mode actually here we go to always on this is um, let's change the color to white and the brightness a little bit and now effect number two number three number four five six this is six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve if you want the Christmas light to stay always on. What I forgot to say that we have here 10 LEDs uh, per stair in 10 stairs. As in the previous project, uh, details and download links are in the description. Everything is customizable in the code, timings, colors, and also everything is commented, so it should be very easy to customize. Hope you like this project and if you did please like share and subscribe or even donate because that will help me in making more projects like this thanks